Check this out. This is only the second time this has ever happened to me on my Mac, you know, just as I'm touting it. But it froze up on me. I was about to do a video, and it tells me I need to restart it. Yeah, that's only the second time ever. So I'm not complaining too much. Speaking of which, did you know, well, if you're a geek like me, okay, I'm restarting it, then you probably do know that... Apple's probably coming out with a new line of MacBook Pros soon. If you recall, I just made the announcement that I am going to buy a new MacBook Pro in the near future. At least I think so. Um, and I was going to do it, like, real soon, but now I'm going to wait for the next generation, since we're so close. I am uh, driving to the gym right now, and I I've got it mounted, because I'm aware. I don't know, I just have a shaky hand when I hold the camera. More than most people, and I try and keep it still, I don't know. I don't know why that is. Um, so, anyway. Yep, going to the gym. And I was thinking, because, you know, I edited two videos on iMovie yesterday. I'm almost thinking there might this might be a new way to edit as far as daily video blogs go. Um, because you can kind of edit as you go. You know, you get three, four clips there that you want to put together. You knock out ten minutes, put those together where they are good. And then the project is there, and you can keep adding to it throughout the day, and you never even have to go on your computer. Now, the editing is very basic, but, I mean, it is 80% of what you would do when you edit, which is putting clips together and shortening them so they're not absolutely unnecessary. Uh, or so you can cut out the unnecessary time someone just, like, pulled out in front of me. Um, so, yeah, I think that's... I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna experiment with it, but that's kind of what is seeming very apparent to me. That it is an extremely convenient way, and really the video quality, while you can still tell, I guess you can tell it's an iPhone, and you know, you've got kind of that exposure that, that tells you it's a cell phone uh, that is inferior to a real camera. The actual, I was comparing the video quality, at least on the other camera, on the other side, to that of my main camcorder, and it almost, in some ways, is better, um, which is hard to believe. But then again, you can't zoom on this, which is definitely an issue. But, I mean, really, it just, you know, just like when you exercise, since I'm in an exercise frame of mind right now, <clears throat> they say it doesn't matter which cardio equipment you use, the best cardio equipment is the one that you use, rather than, you know, it doesn't matter which one. So... It's all about, you know, if you're going to do it, if you're not going to do it, and I don't bring my camcorder with me in my pocket everywhere like I do my cell phone. And now that iPhone 4 has an extremely good camera, I mean, it's got to put people like Flip out of business. It really does, because Flip cameras, Flip cameras are just really, I mean, they're good, they're nice, but they're overpriced, and they're not as convenient as your phone, right? Leaving the gym again. Um, yeah, I cut my workout short, mainly because I hate it when this happens too. My headphones broke again. They break often for some reason. So I gotta go take them back and get a new pair. I always buy the extended warranty on my headphones, you know? But, you know, I mean, I had like a 45 minute workout. It's, we'll do the trick, you know? But uh, I think more important is that you just get something in. Every workout doesn't have to be amazing, but I have a lot to do today, so. In a way, it's kind of good. That way, I don't get too tired. I just called to make my appointment to get my hair cut, but Sarah won't be available until 2 o'clock. So, I'm going to go shopping, and I have to go exchange my headphones. I just got out of the electronics store a second ago, and, uh, yeah, I wanted to see something here. I, and one of the things that I got was this, which I paid entirely too much money for. It's kind of dark. You know what, though? Watch this. I'm going to brighten it up. Yep. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> well, I guess that's as bright as it'll go, but look, I can make myself dark by tapping, and actually I could do this with my finger too. This, I got this so I could write, okay? But then, I wanna focus in on my face, and it brightens it up while I'm recording. I thought that was pretty cool. But I got this for my iPad so I can take handwritten notes. Um, it's, you know, better than writing with your, your finger, because my handwriting is awful as it is, but, it's funny, because I was just talking about this on my secret channel, how I can't stand pens and paper, so this thing. 
$20, too much, too much. I could do better online, I know, and maybe I'll order more, and I can't lose this, but it actually feels good. It looks like a pen, but it's not. See, there's the tip right there. Uh, but and I was playing around with it on my iPhone for just a second. It, it almost seems more convenient to use this to like move around uh, and like type. I was able to type a little bit quicker. I guess that point is smaller than the finger, so you can be more accurate and move more quickly. I don't know. I'll try it out. I'll see if it gets older, if I like it, and if I remember, I'll let you know. Okay, I also got some new headphones because my other ones broke, so I'm going to try these headphones here, and hopefully they'll be... You know, hopefully they'll be better. We'll see. But I have the extended warranty. If they break on me, then I'll take them back. Um, I'm now going to go grocery shopping, pick up, well, grocery shopping slash miscellaneous stuff, you know? The dogs have uh, been wanting tennis balls. I've been playing with tennis balls, particularly with Nova, because he likes to mix it up more. So, so many choices. You know, they used to have a... I think that's the spot for them right there. Like a big old bag of tennis balls, which is a good value. Um, so, I don't know, I'll just get a few of these, I guess. All right, so I tell myself, I'm gonna come to the grocery store, I'm gonna spend, you know, like 150 bucks, right? $150 is what I'm gonna spend. I walk out $351 for all this. And I mean, it's not really that much. So, I mean, I had to get more than just food, but goodness, I mean, are prices going up or is it me? I, I just uh, I just don't know. I mean, I, I don't remember this kind of, well, I guess you could call it inflation. It's almost two o'clock, so I'm gonna go get my hair cut. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get it cut short, you know? Not like buzz cut short, but shorter probably than normal because I, I just, ah. I don't like having this long hair. I mean, it's been longer, don't get me wrong, and I know it's not long, but it's hard. I have really difficult to manage hair. I've got these cow licks. Come here, honey. I know. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> How about another kiss? One more? Come on, do you have one more in you? Thank you. Is she not the sweetest angel you've ever seen? <laughs> Uh, so anyway, okay, yeah, all right, that's, that's that. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna go knock that out. Venus, do you have anything to add? No, nothing? Okay, she just wants some love. I know, I know, I know, Ma Yuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes she gets pushy like this, you know? You're so filthy still. She's so dirty from yesterday. I started to give her a bath, and I'm like, well, she's just going to get dirty again today. But today I didn't end up going to the park because I had so many chores to run. So, the tentative plan... Ugh, the tentative plan is to go to the park tomorrow... And, uh, um, then give her a bath. A bath. Do you want to take a bath? <laughs> Nova. Venus, don't be, don't be mean. Be sweet to your brother. Nova, Nova wants to take a bath. <laughs> you get so anxious. Okay, I've said enough. I'm, I'm really digging this camera angle, though. Venus, be sweet to your brother. This is what my hair looks like before. I Actually, you were in one of my videos a long time ago, years ago. Yeah. When I came in here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I put the water. Yeah, right, that's good. So I want to, oh, you got to get that? I was going to, I'm going to tell her, you know, I want to short and everything. Oh, hi, Kevin, how it's are good. you? I wonder if I should switch the camera and give you a better okay. look. Okay. I will. My hair, that's right, kind of long. Another appointment. Business has been good. <laughs> um, I want to go shorter than normal. Today. Okay, normal. But, yeah, normal I mean, also. well, normal like you do, a little shorter. A uh, more shorter? Yeah, because oh. I wanted to. I have some. I wanted to grow out in mm -hmm. two weeks and mm -hmm. look like I didn't get a haircut. Okay. 
but I still want it to be kind of short in two okay. weeks. Okay, yes, sir. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. I got you. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, Sarah always does an amazing job. You know, I, I was telling her last time. I try. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling her last time that I, you know, when I moved to the UK for, for six weeks, she's not going to be able to cut my hair. And, you know, I'm not, I feel guilty about that. <laughs> but, you know, she understands. I mean, I've told her and everything's uh -huh. good. So. Yeah, I understand. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we've got it. And then you need to, you know, uh, gel something, you know, you don't want to? Well, I have gel at home. I oh, don't need to do gel. Do yeah, I'm, I'm just, yeah. How I about don't... that? Massage. I know, it feels very good. <laughs> it's one of uh, Sarah's trademark <laughs> massages. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, she's very good fingers. Uh, <laughs> it's good. Blessed fingers. Blessed. Yep. That's good. Yeah, see, you can't see it, but on the back of, of my neck to improve circulation, right, yeah. throughout the like, scalp. Like this, and, yeah, yep. help, help with circulation like this. Mm -hmm. Good for you. All right. Yeah, I mean, you don't look, as, you don't look that strong, but you are. She's very strong. <laughs> what do you all think? Do you like my haircut? Do you like it? Yeah, I, and when you put the gel, you know, sp styling. Yeah. Styling, yeah. Up and the better. Okay, right. Better right now, I use only water. Right, that's yeah. fine. But that's how, yeah. That's, that's how it works. Usually we do. It's fantastic. Water, like this. Okay. All right. Look at that. That looks great. <laughs> See the top. You want a bag? Huh? See sure. bag? Yeah, go oh. ahead. <laughs> yep. You just point it. You can can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. You like that? Perfect. Yeah. All awesome. Right. You're you're quite good with the camera. Awesome. Those are cow legs. <laughs> Not going bald. <laughs> okay. We were just talking about that. Okay. All right. I have to go. To, I'm, I'm like looking at it in the mirror right now. This woman next to me is like looking at me, but now she's not. Uh, and I don't think it's because I'm a, I'm a sexy beast. But I'm going to uh, go to a health food store now to get wheatgrass. Uh, tablets. Look, I don't know if it's a placebo effect. I just tried them because I try uh, supplements very often. That as long as they're healthy, you know. I mean, if they're not like have a ton of chemicals in them, uh, I don't do those kinds of supplements. But like wheatgrass, I don't know. It looked interesting. I'm like eh, high in antioxidants, I guess. But I don't know if it's a placebo effect or what. But the, it does honestly seem. To benefit me, uh, to increase my mood and energy levels, but I don't know. I don't know if there's anything to it or not, and it's not cheap either, but, you know, I really feel like it does good, so I'm going to continue to take it. Got my wheatgrass right here. Uh, it's in uh, capsule form. I've never, have you got, tell me if you've ever taken the powder, because I was just looking at it. They have the powders. Powders appear to be a little bit of a better value, but, you know, I, I don't really drink a lot of juice, and I don't want to mix it with juice. Um, I really, and the other option would be water. Would that be any good? It doesn't seem like it would be good to me. It's just what my gut's telling me. So I'm walking out of the, the market here, and it's a windy day, and it's beautiful, and it's very spring-like out here, and I, I wish, well, I kind of wish I was at the park, but in a way I don't, because the wind is really exceptional, and... It's not the funnest playing frisbee in the wind. But it occurred to me, and this is, you guys are just going to think I'm weird, and that's okay. But I really just want to know if any of you, of you feel the same way. As I'm walking, and I'm feeling the wind, and it's a beautiful day, and I'm taking a deep breath of oxygen, I, I realize that I'm walking around on a planet in space. I mean, that's the bottom line. Now there's a lot of artificial or, I mean, it all comes from Earth eventually, but, you know, there's a lot of man-made stuff around here that kind of tends to detach us from nature in its pure state. But nonetheless, I'm walking around in a planet in space. Is that... Does that I did the calculations based on um, what... I believe to probably be accurate 
and and I could give you the breakdown of it, but the bottom line is, and I because I don't want to give you the breakdown, it'll take too long, and I want to keep this shorter than normal. But given the sheer number of stars, as you know, there are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on the Earth, and then the odds of a couple of planets orbiting those stars, on average, maybe. I mean, we have what eight orbiting ours, and. Is that right? Eight? Am I counting Pluto or not? Now I'm all... That whole Pluto demotion thing has totally thrown me off. And... But, you know, just being real conservative and then saying a fraction of those planets can maybe harbor life and then a fraction of those planets could maybe harbor intelligent life. The, the odds that are break down to are one trillion intelligent life civilizations that are as smart or smarter than us. Uh, by using pretty ridiculous odds and what what I perceive to be now maybe maybe we're the only ones who knows but yeah and then we are just one of those one trillion intelligent civilizations living in the universe maybe it's my hypothesis could be wrong not trying to say that's that's how it is because none of us know but it's just staggering so anyway I'm walking around on a planet in space it's miraculous, it really is. I'm, I'm here at the red light, and I was just thinking about those figures that I just gave you, and I was like, is that right, one trillion? And I'm like, I want to make sure that, that I have that right. So, it actually, it turns out that it's probably more based on the calculation that I was using, because I just read an article that came up at the Washington Post that scientists believe that three sextillion stars exist in the universe. That's a three followed by 23 zeros. I once tried to look up the largest number known. Obviously, you know, numbers are infinite, but there there actually was... God, I forgot the name of the number. You can look it up, though. There's a name for the largest number ever used in a mathematical equation, and it's just a staggering number. But, yeah. If you didn't think I was weird before, you're really thinking I'm weird now, right? The universe is so big, and we're so small. And that's just the known universe. That's just, and I'm not talking about the visible universe. I'm talking about that's just the four-dimensional universe that that science has confirmed at this point. We're not even talking about the higher dimensions in M theory. We're not even getting into that yet, and what those implications are. 